Hello everyone, this is uh, David from goldstartool.com and uh, we had many many requests of uh, show you how do we assemble the DDL8700 or NewTek8700 uh, All the industrial sewing machines uh, have a leg and they're all assembled the same We I already had a have a video on how to do the le legs uh, but this is a K legs and they're all the same for all the machine industrial sewing machine overlock Gucci cover stitch overlock single needle no anything that you have this is the same K legs very easy to put together uh, and it has only four parts pretty much the left hand leg and the right side and the uh, metal in the bottom and in the back and that's how it's gonna look. So uh, the height, it all depends on you, how you want the height. Now, we have, we're assembling today for a uh, Juki 8700, and we have the table upside down, and we already put in the uh, screws in there for the motor. The motor is a different box. When you open up, you have three screws, and you put in the three screws. Now I'm gonna have my assistant put on the table, the legs, so you want it to have it upside down. So this is the front. Okay, this is the hole for the belt. These are the holes for the uh, uh, motor. And, I, and this is a hole for the uh, sewing machine uh, headrest. So we're gonna turn it back and the way it is. And we're gonna put the legs back on. So this is the back. You see this hole right here? This is the back of the machine. This is where the stand will go. The uh, thread stand will go. And these two holes are nothing here. But this is the back. And these are the signs. You have three holes for the screw, and you have this hole. So. Go ahead, and we're gonna watch as our uh, assembler will assemble this. And uh, excuse the mess. This is the uh, uh, assembly area, or uh, then you have three small rubber bands that go in there. It's then a spacer that makes sure that the uh, there won't be any shaking on the machine and I'm sure you hear a lot of uh, noise in the background shipping so you got first you're gonna put the the rubber for the motor and here you don't need to do anything else this is the motor right here let me show them the motor too. Can I get a close up? Yeah, I think. This is a uh, new tech servo motor, 550. And the bracket, when you get the motor, everything is in there. So you don't have to do anything, no assembly. See, all in one piece. and bam it goes in there now we're going to bring in the rest of the uh, items for the motor and i'm going to open it up right here i'm going to show you what it is that you're going to get this is a brake that you're not going to use this is a spare part you're gonna send, set it aside, okay? For uh, later use if the machine needs a break, you know, after a while. So this one you don't need. These are four parts for attaching the uh, cable, washer, some screws, and some wood. By the way, we have not tightened the legs yet. So here, we're gonna wait for our 
engineer to put the machine together right here in front of you and you gotta make sure you see this is adjustable meaning you could go back and forth you gotta make sure this is the the pulley right here is coming down stay right here again this is for any type of industrial sewing machine Juki, Nutek, Brother, Mitsubishi, Kanso, Ekanaso uh, they're all the same so you're gonna have a washer right here you got a lock washer on top and you got the nuts here we go that's so I just I'm just doing the video. Uh, I hope the light and everything is good and the sound is good for you guys back at home. And, uh, okay. So this is the back of the machine and this is the front. So the cable, the uh, switch, on and off switch, which again, everything is all ready to go. Go right here. And uh, here are all the, uh, This is the for cover the, for, the belt. for the belt pulley, yeah. and these are the screws. This could be done at the end. Yes, for the screws. And there are two black screws for this, and three metal screws for the wheel. Here we go. So you need a number, what is the number of the uh, number 14? wrench to uh, see now you have this rubber right here it's very easy to adjust so the rubbers are there so you won't the machine will not uh, shake Yeah, the tighter the better. But you want to make sure when you tie that the other end will not break. Uh, the head of the screw will not break the head, the table. Okay. One of the most important part of the motor. So in the back, you'll see while we add it, you have a socket right here for 110 volt. That is for the LED lamp that will go in there. And this is the uh, direction switch. Um, reverse, or if you turn on the motor and you see it's going reverse, you just go ahead and turn this on. Again, this is a servo motor made by NewTek. Uh, 550. Uh, what and it's 110 volts and this is the volume for the uh, switch to adjust the speed you could adjust the speed and it's a silence or quiet or servo motor now when you're underneath you could run the wire the way you want as long as uh, uh, you're not going through the hole right here and you got to make sure when you're putting now I'm going to show you When you're putting this on the table You got to make sure that you're not covering this hole or You're not putting the screw through the bobbin uh, Tray back there. There's a bobbin tray here right here on the other end and if you put the screws in there uh, You might come from the other end. make sure you're gonna, where you're gonna go now the the legs has holes here but the table is not pre hole because it's all you know uh, how you want to do it where you want to put it so we got some here we go so we're done with the cables and now we're going to put in the uh,
Now, this is the most important part. You gotta make sure the car, your sewing machine is two inch. Yeah, two inch. Two inch from the side. How, how many inch from the front? One and a half. One and a half inch from the front. So this is the front. Yeah. Two and a half or one and a half? Two. This is here. One and a half. This one is and one and a half right here. 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 The from it's side two. is two inch. Beautiful. Two, two inch. inch. And here is two inch. Two inch. Gonna make sure it's two inch. Adjust and from here. Yeah. So whatever it is from the back is gonna stay the same. Make sure most important part. Here is two inch, and here is one and a half. This is one and a half. Let's do it from the here because people do, yes, that one and a half. Okay, this right here. Two inch and one and a half from the front. And then when you do that, now you need a drill, and we need a uh, wood screw that goes through these holes. The holes are already made in here. Two here, two in the back, and uh, again, two here and two in the back. So just, how much is from the back? Just, I mean, when you do one and a half here, here is exactly three inch. All right, beautiful. Two and a half, uh, one and a half in front, two on the side here, and we're gonna put the screws on now. Uh, you need a drill, um, a power drill. And you do not need to uh, make a hole in there. A wood screw would do, and you know. So here, as you see, we have a lot of space here, and the reason is because we're gonna put the drawer in there. And again, we're gonna do one same and side, half. one and a half. One and a half. That's it, we're gonna do one and a half. And here is gonna be six and a half. Six and a half. And it's six and a half, you gotta make sure, yes. You gotta make sure the front and the back are six and a half. So yeah, you yeah. put in the drawer right here. Here we go. So the way we did it here is like, as you could see, um, we don't wanna bend and it's much easier to do this standing up. Now here is very messy, I don't wanna show you around, but we already made a table that we use all the time to assemble other table on top of it. There you go. So again, if you're joining us right now, please middle of the video this is for a new tech 8700 GQ 8700 or any industrial sewing machine single needle again the table and the legs could be used for any type of industrial sewing machine uh, for legs are 99% uh, of the time the same for all type of sewing machine even cover stitch uh, overlock blind stitch the legs are all the same, the table might be different, but in general, uh, is also same type of work. Now, we're gonna go ahead and put on the, uh, the switch on, and that's also, we have a tiny screws. So again, we pretty much put them. No good screws, no turn the screws. You need to have a uh, three good sharp screws. And here we go. The, it's 
how much you want the switch to be off from the front it depends uh, it's all reference maybe I think it's about one and a half inch also the preferences and the other one here we go and now we're gonna turn the table I should have a wide angle uh, lens, but it's all good. Here we go. This is the front of the sewing machine. And these are the back. Front corner, front. This is the uh, bobbin tray that I told you I don't want you to come out. Make sure the screw doesn't come out from the other side. And this is it. So we'll come back and we're gonna uh, uh, open up one of the Juki sewing machine head and we're gonna show you what comes inside of it and how we're gonna do it and how we're gonna put it together. So here you have we just opened up a uh, sewing machine and we're gonna open up the head first to show you what it is. This is the so this is the machine, the head. We're gonna get this. I showed you Juki original the serial number and then you got the belt cover that you're gonna leave for later on. And you're gonna get these uh, manuals, how to install, regarding the belt. And you're gonna get this box as well. Please open up the box. And I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna have inside the box. Owner's manual, both in English, Dutch, and English. In Russian, you get the uh, thread stand in one package. You get the Juki cover, the pulley that goes right here. Knee lifter accessory that goes inside the drawer before we ship out things bobbin winder again some installation accessories and the uh, oil pan right here okay here we go with installation So um, there are different style of sewing machines, tables that you guys might receive from different companies. Uh, from time to time it's different. So uh, for the front corner, for the back it's all the same, but from the front corner you're going to have these two. Instead of what is, with this style instead of the one that comes with come with original juki we're going to give you this uh, set of uh, bumpers or cushions to use on your machine this goes in the in the back and these two go in the front but the one for right here you use the original one with that comes with juki from time to time you could also get a different cut right here that will work with original juki part Open this up, so I could show to the... So this goes to the back. And these two would go usually to the front, here. 
but our style the cutout is different so we're gonna use the one that comes for this machine we're not gonna use this one you will get everything in your uh, package you will not use this one use only this one now sometimes you the table comes round cut like this one so then we will not include this one in your package go ahead and put it on I'm gonna put it on the machine I'm gonna bring the machine first so here is the uh, oil pan and you see this side here the cutout go to this side this is for your hand to go through and you'll be able to change the bobbin case and now we're going to put in the yes the same way go ahead put this one right here too and you see this slit go right in there I'm trying to do so many things at the same and this one goes right in here the other one go right there and we'll put this one right in there and make sure push it down there you go it will fall right in there I like this style much better because it's very tight and very steady and very good here see how flush this is gonna be flush okay and now we're gonna do the rest of the uh, installation let's open up the package here this is an umbrella that goes right here for the knee lifter. You just leave it in here. This is the uh, headrest that goes right here. Just it goes in there. Done. You could even hammer it if you want. And this part is a needle thread there that I'm going to show you later on what we're going to do with this. The needle guide, a thread guide, I'm sorry. And this is a magnetic piece that goes right here. And so the magnetic is there, so magnet is there. If you break a needle, it will travel and go down there and get stuck right here. So the magnet, the umbrella, this is the headrest right here. And this is a thread guide that we're gonna show you later what we're gonna do with this. Go ahead. So these two hinges go in the back and go in the, and this is the back of the machine. Go in there. And now we have some needles here also, or not yeah, needles, the uh, nail, if you want to hold this down, the rubber, but this is perfect, sitting perfectly. Okay, done. This is perfect. And this one, the thread guide, goes right here. And you could hammer it. Also hammer this one. The That's it. So we're good. The head is in, and now we're gonna uh, come back and we're gonna put in the rest of the accessories on. So okay, we have uh, assembled the uh, bobbin winder right here uh, with two screws, and this is the belt cover right here. We put it in, and this is the back of the belt cover. This one goes right here too, and you're gonna make sure that it will not hit the belt. 
this is just for security so you would not get your hand cut up in the belt so you will go there and you have two screws and this is the belt cover again and this is the bobbin miter set already and here now we're doing the uh, thread stand bottom part of the thread stand the top part uh, you have two tray for the thread uh, one for the bobbin winder and one for the machine and these are the arms of the uh, thread stand and the knee lifter and these are all the accessories that are going to go inside the uh, a drawer and the oil and we're going to be done we'll come back okay so we had assembled the thread stand easy very easy to the thread stand on the way this is and now we're going to go ahead and do the pedals and the wall joint connection and uh, we're going to be good done let's do the knee lifter while we're here so it's going to be very easy with the knee lifter here you go Now we could adjust the knee lifter. There's an adjustment screw right here. You could do the pad up or down. So depending on to your height or the way you sit down behind the sewing machine and the way you do your, uh, you know, you sew, you could. So this is done. See, that didn't take more than two minutes. This you could do this higher and lower and inside more outside and see done. We'll come back with the pedal as soon as we're done with the pedal and uh, we're gonna put in the uh, uh, drawer and we're good to go. Thank you. Okay, here we go. The uh, pedal is on. Uh, there is a bracket right here with two screws and two screws here for pedal and this thing goes right in the middle. You see, it's gotta be like, um, um, be able to play. And got the ball joint. Uh, you got a screw right here. And go to the bracket bottom here, to this bracket. And you could adjust from here, the height. If your feet, you don't, you're not comfortable the way it is, you could make it lower or higher. And it's a springy. It's gonna be springy now. This again. This is to adjust the speed. And if the table or the motor or uh, the belt right here is um, too tight, you could. Uh, you don't need a new belt. All you have to do to hire this, the nut, and then uh, adjust this so the belt will be adjusted. So uh, we're pretty much done. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and thread this and put in this uh, gold star new tech LED lamp on and put the drawer back on and uh, uh, the cover and we're gonna get ready to ship this out to a customer and we'll be back okay so we had uh, put the uh, drawer right here and we put all the uh, accessories and the owner's manual in here. Uh, the uh, pedal is done. The knee lifter is done. The LED lamp is on. The cover, the back, the cover to the um, uh, motor is on. So when you get this, either you assemble the first thing you want to do, you want to put the whole oil in there the entire oil and uh, there is a sign here said low high it's got to be between low or high and high and if you need more we have them at goldstartool.com clear oil um, the uh, the LED lamps plugged into the motor switch on light on and uh, just to try. Mm. And 
going to do it thick now. I'm going to play with that more or volume, and you see it's off now. Off, on. A great machine. Right here, you have the bobbin winder and uh, needle stitch, thread stitch right here, reverse, and um, I already have a video on how to thread. Uh, thank you for watching. This is how to assemble a Juki DDL 8700 or a 5550 or a Nutek and any similar industrial sewing machine. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up, like, and share our video. Thanks. Site goldstartool.com